And we'll be keeping tabs on a state Senate race that could decide the balance of power in Albany. News 4's Rich Newberg spoke with the candidates for the 60th district. Hi, hey, Senator Grisanti, how are you? you know, I just wanted to say Incumbent thank you Mark Grisanti doing... spent the morning engaging voters in North Buffalo. Thanks for stopping by. Have Good a luck. great day. All right, thank Having you. Having lost bye -bye. the Republican primary to Kevin Stocker, he is still confident he can attract moderate Republicans and Democrats who will find him on the Independence Party line. My ads in this general election have all been positive. They've been talking about, uh, you know, what I've been doing with regards to, uh, for example, the medical marijuana issue, uh, chemicals in children's products, the Buffalo Billion. You want to see how you do on your spelling words? Republican yeah. Kevin Stocker spell spent the day with his children. After spending a year and a half, he says, going door to door. He says all other issues take a back seat to the issue of corruption in Albany, which he vows to fight against if elected. It had to do with earning the trust of the voters. It's really that simple. They don't feel like they're the boss. They see all the special interest groups in control. I'm the only anti-fracking candidate in, in the 60th Senate District. Panapinto made a campaign stop at the Lexington Co-op in Buffalo. He has tried to appeal to the progressive wing of the Democratic Party. Yeah, I think the hydrofracking issue has, you know, had a lot of resonance across the district. We represent 42 miles of waterfront. People from Tonawanda to Hamburg don't want fracking fluids treated in their water and going into Lake Erie and the Niagara River. Now there's also a fourth candidate running on the conservative line, and we were unable to reach Tim Gallagher today. Coming up at 6, one of the bigger issues in the race, the Women's Equality Act. Reporting live, Rich Newberg, News 4 at 5.